beautiful people and welcome to fun in the kitchen i'm april today we're gonna make tuscan tortellini salad and what we're gonna need today is the tortellini this one has three cheese in it and you can get the um whatever you like in there but this has three cheese um we're gonna need pepperoncini we're gonna need our sliced olives extra virgin olive oil white wine vinegar salami and we want to have the salami that is cut thick like this so you can ask your deli to cut them thick like this and you'll see why in a little bit and then we need our um cherry tomatoes which we're going to slice in half because we don't want them cold. we're going to use a red bell pepper and some mozzarella balls along with um, a half teaspoon of dried oregano, a half teaspoon of salt and pepper, which I've already mixed in a bowl, and two garlic cloves minced. Okay, so I've already started my water over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this tortellini boiling and I'll see you guys in. Okay. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you how we're going to cut this salami up. So I have two stacked up at a time and we're just going to cut into this and I'm on a cutting board and I also put it on top of um, some wax paper. And I did that just so I wouldn't have the cutting board a mess. So I cut one like that and we're just making cubes just like that that's how we're going to do this so i'm back and as you can see i have cut up the genoa salami and i started working on the grape tomatoes so i have a few left that i need to do so i'm going to show you how i cut them in half i mean it's simple you can see it's cut in half but you know just to show you that's all I did and I'm just cutting a few that I have left in half and you know the funny thing about a grape tomato they're sweet I love them I love grape tomatoes but you know I don't like um a big tomato I is it doesn't have that sweetness to it but I love a good cherry tomato that, I think that's just so funny. I don't know if anybody else is out there like me. You can comment and let me know. But I do love a great, great um, cherry tomato. It has such a sweet taste to it. It's just wonderful. So these are my um, grape tomatoes cut in half. And so the next thing we need to do, we need to cut our... Um, red bell pepper now I don't remember if I told you but yes we need a red bell pepper in this recipe um or you can use an orange bell pepper the flavor of red and orange and green bell peppers they're just so beautiful and they taste so good and it gives it such a nice color gives it a nice smell everything is so fragrant that you just have to have to have this in your in your salads and in some of your other dishes that we we use uh, bell peppers in and I really do I really like to use um, bell peppers in different dishes because they're colorful they're fragrant and they taste delicious even on sandwiches you know sometimes you have a sub you go get a sub made and you can have one you can have a few um, bell peppers on your sandwich you know it's delicious so I've already cleaned the bell pepper, of course, and we don't want any of these seeds in. So I'm just kind of taking the seeds out, you know, taking all of that stuff that we're not going to use out of the bell pepper. And we're just going to cut it like that. That's all. We're going to cut it like that. And because we don't want big pieces in our um, salad, we just cut it. There we go. I'm not a professional, so... I cut the best way I can and this is it and that's basically what you're going to do with your with your red bell pepper this is it 
Again, I just love red, green, orange. Even the um the smaller sweet bell peppers. Oh, those are so good. You can put those in your salads. They have a wonderful taste. They're fragrant. It's just so good. So I'm gonna cut the rest of these up and I see you guys in a minute. Okay, so now we're gonna cut up our pepperoncini. And you only need two tablespoons of pepperoncini. So I'm gonna cut these up just like this. So it's a little juicy, because they are juicy. And I'm just gonna cut them up. It doesn't have to be fancy. You just wanna cut them up just a little bit so that you don't have big chunks. And again, you only wanna do about uh, two tablespoons and I'm trying not to get the seeds in there so you may want to push those seeds to the side and this is just what we're gonna do just like that okay so now that I've gotten everything all chopped up and I kind of just put the uh, tomatoes the bell pepper and the pepperoncini in one bowl and now that we have everything chopped up we have to make our dressing so we're gonna go ahead and use a half a cup of um, olive oil. So that's a half a cup of olive oil. And I'm going to put it in this bowl right here. And then we need a quarter cup of white wine vinegar. Pop that open right quick. And I'm going to use my quarter cup right here. My quarter cup for my white wine vinegar. Okay, there we go. That's a quarter cup. And we're going to pour that right on in there. Okay. And hey, what's better than making your own dressing, you know? It's fresh. You know how it tastes. It's the best thing you could do is make your own dressing. That's the best thing. Okay. So now we need to go ahead and we need to put our salt and pepper and our garlic into our olive oil and our vinegar mixture, our oregano and our salt and pepper. There we go. We put everything in there. And if you wanted to, you can add some red pepper flakes. That's always good. So what I'm gonna do is shake this up. Shake it, shake it, shake it a little bit. Make sure all those good ingredients get in there. And then I'll show you what our dressing is looking like. I tell you, you're really gonna love this recipe. And I wish you could smell it. Oh my goodness, it smells so delicious already. And this is our, this is our dressing. There you go, that's what it should look like. And we're only gonna pour half of it on here for right now. We don't want our noodles to stick, so I'm just pouring half of it on here, okay? There we go. That should be enough to get us started with building this beautiful, beautiful Tuscan salad. Let me get my spoon to start mixing everything in here. And also, so let me mix that up a little bit. Uh-oh. I'm going to mix that up. There we go. See how nice that dressing is on there? Look at that. And these noodles, again, I cooked them for 10 minutes. And I let them cool while I was cutting everything up. They cooled off. So they're perfect. Because you don't want to do this while it's hot. Because they can break up. But these are al dente. So if you cook them according to... The package time you'll come out with perfect al dente noodles or any other pasta every time just cook them according to what the package says 
and every time you'll get nice al dente pasta you see how nice that is and you see it's not breaking up not one bit okay so now what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and we're going to add in all of our ingredients the tomatoes the red pepper the pepperoncini put all of that in there start mixing that up just a little bit just give it a good little mix then we're going to put our genoa salami in here that we chopped up nice and chunky because we want to taste that salami in there you know and now we're going to put a few pieces of this of these mozzarella balls and this is fresh mozzarella so that's why they're already in balls now you can buy some mozzarella that's packaged you can use that that's fine as well but we're going to go ahead since i have the mozzarella balls i'm going to go ahead and use this and watch how nice this salad is going to taste i mean it's looking great already now of course i have to use this because it's not popping up so i had to use the scissors to open up our mozzarella here we go i'm gonna throw that in the garbage and there we go i'm back and grab a spoon just so I can, I don't want the liquid from the that the mozzarella was sitting in, in here. And my hands are clean, guys, they are very clean. Always, always wash your hands when you're cooking. Nobody likes nastiness in the kitchen. I sure don't. So always make sure all your utensils, everything you use is clean. And because I use this scissor a lot of times to cook with, my scissor is clean too. And I know it's not a cooking scissor, but that's what I use a lot of times to open stuff up. Okay, so let's see if we need any more cheese in there. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up. Give this a whirl. And we're also gonna add in the rest of our dressing uh-oh one of the peppers got away yeah it's okay look how nice this looks guys this looks so good so tasty so good and tasty now we're going to add in the rest of our dressing that we made ourselves oh my goodness look at that that is awesome and all the flavors that you're going to get out of this I mean really it smells great it smells so good oh my goodness I know my family is really gonna like this one and you see how much it made I made a whole package of the tortellini noodles and look how much it made oh my goodness look at that that is delicious and you know what we're gonna sprinkle some um, more oregano on there just to garnish it. Why not? Maybe some oregano to garnish and a little bit of parsley to garnish it. Yeah, that sounds great. Let's do that. Okay, so I'm going to sprinkle a little bit more of oregano onto this beautiful salad. Look at the colors. Look at that. That is just gorgeous. Look at that. You add that oregano on there. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to add a little parsley. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. But I think we need to use the other side so I can get a little bit more of the parsley out of here. Yes, look at that. Now that is a gorgeous salad. Okay, guys, I'm back because we forgot to put the olives in. And here we go. That adds even more beautiful flavor to this salad. Now look at that. Look at those colors when you add to that. It happens. <laughs> it happens. Sometimes we leave out an ingredient. But I came back to let you guys know. 
Okay, so we're going to mix that, those nice olives in there. Okay. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Now you really have some nice color going in here. There we go. There we go. Okay. Look at how beautiful this salad is. And again, it smells amazing. Oh, one that away. It smells amazing. And this is your nice Tuscan pasta salad. Tortellini. Tuscan tortellini pasta salad. Look at how pretty that looks. It smells amazing with the fresh dressing that we made ourselves. Yes, so I want you to try this and let me know how you enjoyed this recipe. Again, please like, subscribe, and comment. And don't forget also to hit the notification button. That way you know when I have more good recipes coming for you. Okay, have a good evening. Bye.